Once again, this I tried it so you don't have to video is going to be me talking about a product that I purchased and tried months ago. <laughs> that's it, that's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda and you're watching Swell Entertainment. The product I tried so that you don't have to is Four Sigmatic Coffee, which is mushroom coffee. And this was actually a recommendation for one of my patrons, Alyssa, who was my very first patron. Thank you for your patience on this video because it was recommended back in June. Purchased it in July, came in July, and I tried it in July. I, I don't have an excuse for why it's now December and I'm just now making the video on this. Now you're thinking, Amanda, it's been literally months since you've tried this product. Why make a video at all at this point? Alyssa requested it, I agreed. I was like, a review is coming. And I never said when, and she hasn't brought it up again, but I did say I was gonna do it. And I don't wanna be one of those creators who doesn't hold up their end of a bargain for Patreon, whether my patrons interact with me or not. If you're one of my patrons, please submit topics for the videos for Patreon only content. I also still wanted to do this review because I haven't done an I tried it product review in a while. And though for Sigmatic, I haven't seen it reviewed or recommended specifically by any influencers. I get kind of pelted by those ads on Instagram, probably because I reviewed Uncupped. Now I feel I'm more qualified to talk about a coffee company. I work at a coffee shop. I've been working at a coffee shop since February. I am a barista. I do all the tamping. I do all the steaming. I do all the latte arts that consist solely of hearts and, and sad rosettas. But now I feel I'm way more familiar with the making and tasting of coffee. I feel like I'm trained in the art of a barista now. I don't know, maybe this will be a new sub-series of I tried it so you don't have to, where I'll just review a bunch of artisanal Instagram coffee. Also, I'm making this video because I've spent nearly $50 on this goddamn coffee, and I had to have a miserable week that was low caffeinated. So yeah, you're getting a video on it. Please don't skip the ads. Back in July, I ordered the mushroom coffee with lion's mane, the mushroom mocha with chaga, and I ordered the mushroom hot cacao with reishi. Got the hot chocolate because I wanted to review one of their non-coffee drinks and I had actually tried it previously. I got a packet of their hot cocoa in a sample thing from Sephora when I spent probably too much money. I tried the cocoa. I remember it being not bad. I don't remember it being startlingly good. I think that cocoa that I got then was like the one that was supposed to help you sleep better. I've dealt with insomnia on and off for like a good chunk of my life. It's usually stress induced. And most of the things that I've tried to try and combat my inability to sleep either have shit side effects or don't work on me. You know, I think that was one of the things where I was like, oh, I'll try this because it says it's gonna help me sleep. And I genuinely can't remember if I got a good night's sleep that night, but I think the cocoa was like not bad. Originally, I was only gonna get one of their coffees and then a cocoa. Then I realized to do this, <laughs> I should probably not drink any other coffee drinks that week while I'm testing it because part of the advertisement for Four Sigmatic Coffee is that it has less caffeine than traditional coffee drinks, but it still has caffeine. Now the coffees came at the end of July and I was not in school at the time, but I was, again, working at a coffee shop, working opening and mid shifts. So either I was starting at 5, 5.30 a.m. or I was starting at 7 a.m. If you saw my uncupped review, you know I am probably certifiably addicted to caffeine. Four Sigmatic did not help with this, but I have cut back significantly on my caffeine intake, even though I work at a coffee house. I did that because I wanted to see if it would help my insomnia. It hasn't but whatever. At the time, I was drinking at least two cups of coffee in the morning and then drinking more coffee once I got to work. And then I would have like green tea or something because I was winding down. I know someone's gonna comment, it's nothing. I drink a gallon of coffee every single day. I drink straight caffeine. Espresso runs through my veins. Good for you, man. I'm 5'2", I weigh 120 pounds. I can do a transfusion and replace my blood with espresso. I think I'll just like vibrate until I disintegrate. So because I was going from a lot of coffee to already a smaller dose of coffee, I thought I should give Four Sigmatic the best chance that I could and get two different types of coffee so at least my routine of having two cups of coffee in the morning was not upset. Hopefully psychologically my body would be like, this is normal and you know, go with it, I guess. And then because again, I was cutting back on so much caffeine, I was worried about caffeine headaches and my ability to function so I did allow myself to drink caffeinated tea. Like I said, I reviewed this product back in July. It is now December. If you guys can't tell by the change of scenery, I moved at the end of September. I moved literally like two days after I got back from doing my duty to free the aliens at the Area 51 raid. I got back and two days later, like we, we were out of the house. Because I wasn't there at the time, we had multiple people help us move and other people were in charge of 
packing up the kitchen where the boxes of my Four Sigmatic coffee and cacao were located. I've been here for a couple months now. You still can't find them. Best case scenario, they're still in a box somewhere in our garage. They probably just got thrown away, so I don't have them. That's why, but I did take them. Here is the packing slip showing I spent $49. That's why you're not gonna see me holding up the specific boxes and stuff or the packets and showing you the array of packets, showing that I did in fact consume this stuff for a whole seven days. Cause I legitimately don't know where the boxes or the packets are. That's where we're at. So let's start with the one that I actually liked, the Lion's Mane coffee. It's the one that I would say tastes the most standard. I would compare it to diner coffee, but I love diner coffee. I don't care what the hell it is, but there's something about it being made in a diner setting with like the faint smell of cooking grease happening. Now of the three, the lion's mane was the only one that would dissolve completely in hot water every single time. At the end there would be the little bitty grits, but that was it. It was overall the best tasting, I would say, and it didn't have the chalky taste that the other two had. If I were to buy any of these again, it's most likely going to be the lion's mane just because again it tasted the best. It was the easiest to consume because I didn't have to keep constantly stirring it and it did just dissolve fairly quickly. It stirred in really well. The mocha. I don't know what it was about the mocha. It didn't taste good. A mocha is basically a latte with chocolate syrup. So that's why you'll sometimes hear it referred to as a mocha latte. That's it. Oh, by the way, all my views and my opinions are my own and do not reflect my employer. Let's just be on the safe side. That is all a mocha is. Now I call this the poor man's mocha or the, the, the sad, stat, sad student's mocha because this is literally what I would do when I had zero period and my dad took me to Circle K every morning to get a coffee is I would go and I would get the literally supercharged caffeinated battery acid coffee and because it tasted so bad I would put hot chocolate in it and I still do this every once in a while if I'm out of my coffee and I have to drink my dad's coffee because his coffee is how do I put this delicately ass I will just take half of a hot cocoa packet and put it in and stir it in and it tastes infinitely better and I can still have technically but not black coffee so that's why I was like okay the mocha may not be that bad it's like a hot cocoa with coffee that's a taste I'm familiar with I didn't like it at all it was chalky it did not dissolve I don't know if it, the difference here was the chocolate that was added to the coffee but it would not mix in. It was just not pleasant. And so it was just drinking like bumpy sludge. It was not appealing. I didn't like it at all. I drank it every morning again, because I was sticking to my goal of one of each, each morning. Moving on to the cocoa. So the cocoa originally, it's a very small, small amount of water used in the cocoa. I think if I remember correctly, it says like eight ounces of water, if that. It was like a very, very small amount. And even then, not only did it not taste too good. It tasted kind of like you were drinking dirty water, but in another room, like down the hall, someone yelled the word chocolate. And like the mocha, it was fairly chalky. I tried messing around with the water levels to see if that would change the taste. I used less water, I used more water. It didn't really do much aside now I have more or less of this drink that I'm not too fond of to finish. It really didn't do much for the flavor. So originally I was using water for all of these and that was part of the package. It said use water, but it also says or use almond or your other favorite alternative milk. I'm actually not eating dairy anymore. I'm trying not to. I've been very good, but dairy's in a lot of things. So I figured, okay, I know what I'll do. I'll go to work, <laughs> pay for like an almond milk or oat milk steamer, steam my own alternative milk, and then mix in the packet and see if that makes it taste better. And then I realized not everyone works at a in coffee shop and that was a stupid idea. So I went home and I took my Oatly and I warmed it up on the stove. So again, I didn't have any issues with the lion's mane so I didn't try it with the warmed oat milk but I did try it with the mocha and the cocoa. It did not make the mocha taste any better. The cocoa, the only way I could get it to taste better is if I warmed up a slightly larger batch of Oatly and then I did two packets of the cocoa and did like a double batch kind of. So about 18 ounces of milk and then two packets of the cocoa. That made it bearable. That made it actually pretty good. Was it something that I would go and buy again? No, but I do think using Oatly kind of helped diminish the chalky taste just a little bit. You don't have to use oat milk. I understand people are allergic. If you use almond milk, might I recommend unsweetened almond milk because sweetened almond milk is terrible. You also could use regular dairy milks, but again, they don't recommend it. It seemed like, I'm not a vegan, but like I cut out dairy to see if it would help my skin at all. It didn't do shit. The Accutane is doing this, but what it did do is it did help me accidentally lose 10 pounds. And I know it was the dairy because I was eating like ass 
the entire time. I'm assuming it was the hormones in the milk, but again, I'm not a dietitian. I pulled up the Four Sigmatic website so that I could directly read off the product descriptions for each of the products that I got so that you know specifically what each are claiming to do. Start with the cocoa because that's the first thing they pulled up. So mushroom hot cocoa with reishi mushrooms, like a warm hug from grandma. Unwind in the afternoon or evening with our special cacao blend with reishi mushrooms to support occasional stress and restful sleep. An upgrade on guilt-free hot chocolate and it's advertised as organic, vegan, paleo, and decaf. As far as helping me sleep in this time, like I said, I did drink this stuff every night and occasionally I drank double batches. The entire week that I drank nothing but this stuff and then a little bit of green tea, I didn't get any caffeine headaches, luckily. I was crashing. I would crash between like noon and 2 p.m. I would just be completely miserable and exhausted the entire rest of the day. It didn't really help as far as sleeping goes, maybe calming me down. I still didn't sleep that well that week. Personally, I didn't see a difference in my sleeping pattern. Maybe you will. Again, everything I say about my responses to things like this, you should take with a grain of salt because I have one body, you have a body. Your body might react differently to things than my body will. I am a small lady, you may not be a tiny lady. Certain things that affect me are not going to affect you the same way. So ready to drink with hot water, enhanced with your choice of nut milk, I am 12 years old, or natural sweetener. <laughs> I don't like adding sweetener to my hot chocolate. I don't think I should have to. It contained organic reishi mushrooms, organic cocoa powder, organic coconut palm sugar, organic cinnamon, organic cardamom, or oh, I love cardamom, organic stevia. Each box comes with 10 packets. I don't think that's worth $20, but that's just me. You may have a different opinion on how much you're willing to spend on your hot cocoa. All right, the next product we're gonna talk about is the mushroom coffee with lion's mane. Four Sigmatic Mushroom Coffee with Chaga and Lion's Mane is your go-to morning beverage to support productivity, focus, and creativity. Perfect to kickstart your morning or power through your workday at the office or at home. Drink whenever your brain needs an energizing, get it together, pug. Instant. Um, I agree with the instant element. Again, that was the only one that would mix in fully. You know what also helps kind of often with like a get it together, paying attention thing, like holding your focus? Um, caffeine. Now, I, I do think that the caffeine does a lot of that. I don't know what evidence they have to support that you're more focused. I don't think I was more focused. It made with 100% organic Arabica coffee bean, ready to drink with hot water, and then again enhance it with alternative milk. I don't think it affected my productivity or focus at all. If anything, I think it hurt it. But again, I'm a caffeine freak, and this had less caffeine than I probably should have been ingesting at the time. Oh my god, they don't even have the mocha anymore. Are you kidding me? Mushroom mocha with chaga. Yeah, it says it's not available anymore. So as you can see, it shows the image for that one and the image for that one, but not the image for the mocha because it's no longer available. So I can't even read specifically what it said. That sucks. Okay, well, let's talk about that because I spent $20 on that one as well. And I spent $15 on the lion's mane. So again, you only get 10 packs in those. I still say I would buy the lion's mane again. Probably not for the price, but definitely I would not buy the mocha again just because I did not like it. It did not taste good to me. And obviously other people kind of agreed because they no longer offer it. <laughs> this is a lesson that I need to do things in a timely fashion. That's what this is. If I were to go and rebuy this stuff, which I won't because I'm not going to spend another $50 and the mocha is not available. I did see Four Sigmatic for sale in a mother's market. No, I will not go and buy some. I will not go and reorder it online. I don't want to. Also, if I were to do it, I don't think that I could now. I'm now on Accutane. I'm on a generic for Accutane that has a lot of the same side effects and a lot of the same health risks attached to it. Not all of them. My liver should be fine. My mental health has been intact. That's all you need to know in case you Google Accutane side effects and get concerned for me. I'm getting the annoying ones and I'll talk about those in a video eventually. There's also a lot of things you're not supposed to do while you're taking Accutane because you are kind of flooding your system with vitamin A to fight against the acne. And one of those things you're not supposed to do is take any supplements or anything like that. And I'm fairly certain that this passes as a supplement. Now, I don't remember specifically, and I can't find anything on the website stating whether or not this is the case, but considering the fact that when I did flat tummy tea and sugar bear hair, neither of those had to be FDA approved because they technically were supplements, they were things you were electing to take. Though their facilities and the way that the things were made did have to be up to FDA guidelines, the products themselves technically did not have to be FDA approved. And I think that's the case here. So, which means that this is technically a supplement and I 
currently probably technically shouldn't be taking it. I don't think Four Sigmatic is worth your money and therefore I probably won't be buying it again. Obviously I can't buy the mocha again. <laughs> I need to make videos faster. Anyway, I hope you liked this review. If you didn't, that's cool. Let me know if you guys do want to see me review more coffee products. I promise I will do so in a more timely fashion. Probably won't be doing any more supplement videos for the time being. So please don't recommend any products where it's like this magical potion will make you grow wings and fly. And also it has caffeine in it. Please don't recommend anything like that. Send in suggestions. Have you tried Four Sigmatic coffee? Did you like it? Do you think I'm an idiot for not liking it? I don't know, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. That's it. Got a couple videos lined up. Got a couple plans coming up. Thank you for watching. Shout out to my patrons, Catherine and Erin. Thank you for supporting my Patreon. And thank you, Alyssa, for submitting this topic. I, I told you I was gonna make the video. I, I'm sorry I didn't give you a more reasonable timeline, but the video's made. <laughs> if you'd also like to support me on my Patreon, the link will be listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on all my social medias, I'll put them all up here. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Goodbye. I probably do drink too much coffee.